Strawberries are the quintessential summer fruit. It's just not a complete summer picnic or barbecue without something with strawberries in it. So in celebrating these next few holiday weekends, I'm going to share with you my favorite strawberry cobbler recipe. First, I'll preheat my oven to 375 degrees. Then, I'll get started on my filling. I'm using two pints of fresh organic strawberries and cutting them in halves and quarters for a variety of sizes, then tossing them into a large bowl. The strawberries have been super sweet this season, so I'll just add a third cup of granulated sugar for the right amount of sweetness, two tablespoons of lemon juice for a little tart balance, and two tablespoons of cornstarch to thicken it up. Strawberries tend to get really juicy when baked, so adding the cornstarch will help hold everything together. I'll add the berry mixture into my baking dish and set it aside. Now I'll get started on my cobbler dough. In another bowl, I'll mix together one cup of unbleached all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. Now I'll add in 4 tablespoons of cold unsalted butter that I've cut into small cubes. Using my fingers, I'll just crush the butter with my thumbs and mix in the flour until it becomes coarse and mealy like this. Finally, I'll add in a third cup of heavy whipping cream and stir everything together. The dough will be slightly sticky, but that's okay. I'll just take a dollop of the dough and put them on top of the strawberries randomly. When they're baked, I like them to look like little biscuits on top, giving room for strawberries around there to be like a moat. But you can also take the dough and cover it fully on top too. Some people like it this way. Now put it in the oven and bake for 35 to 40 minutes until the fruit is bubbling and the biscuits are fluffy and golden brown. So what's the difference between a cobbler and a crumble? A cobbler has a biscuit-like topping, whereas a crumble is usually made of a mixture between oats, flour, butter, and brown sugar and it's sprinkled on top. Once it's done, I'll take it out of the oven and let it cool for about 15 minutes and it's ready to serve. I love serving this warm with vanilla ice cream because when you take a bite, the vanilla ice cream melts and just oozes into the strawberries and it's like strawberries and cream with a shortcake. It's so good. Make this for your next barbecue or get together this summer and let me know how you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!